It is named for the founder of Springfield, William Pynchon, and each year the Advertising Club of Western Massachusetts bestows its Pynchon Award on local individuals who have shown exceptional dedication to the community in some facet. This year's sole Pynchon Award recipient is Kathy Picard of Ludlow. Kathy is herself a survivor of child sexual abuse. She now works to change laws and help others who have been victimized. And uh, Kathy, you're no stranger to us here at uh, Connecting Point and Channel 57. We're thrilled for you and we're honored to have you with us right now. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so, so much, Jim. It's quite an honor to be given this prestige award. I am, I am so thrilled and I'm so looking forward to Thursday's ceremony. Tell me your reaction when you heard that you had been picked to be this year's awardee. Speechless. I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. The hardest part was after they told me that I was going to be getting this award was they said, we have one thing to ask of you. And I said, what? And they said, you can't say anything until this news goes public. So I had to actually wait about a month and a half. And that was very hard to do. Very hard to do. Your story, sadly, is pretty classic in terms of how abuse happens. Abused by your stepfather from the ages of seven to 17. You were told by a trusted relative, even later by a counselor, that you approached, don't talk about it, forget about it, or put it behind you. You eventually decided that was the wrong approach and you came forward. Yes, definitely the wrong, wrong approach. And that's why people need to know when somebody wants to disclose, you need to take that time and listen to them because that may be the one and only time that somebody is going to disclose. You need to give them that time, believe them, stay calm, and get them the help that they need. And that's the hard part, isn't it? Because people are so afraid. And so often the abuser says, nobody's going to believe you. You're, you're a little kid. I'm whoever they are, respected member of the community. I, I'm your uncle, I'm whoever, nobody's gonna believe you. Exactly, because 93% of the perpetrators are known to the victim. So it's people that these young ones trust and love and they're being groomed by them, so they're getting all types of gifts and love and they're, they're going to stay silent. So it, that's why it's so important, Jim, to educate the kids in the schools, to let the kids know that if somebody is harming you or if you're feeling uncomfortable, it's okay to tell and get the help that you need. It's a bad secret to keep and you need to talk about it. You've been recognized by our governor, Deval Patrick, for your work to extend the statute of limitations on sexual abuse in both criminal and civil court cases. That's a big accomplishment. That was, that was a huge accomplishment. Uh, June 26th, I was actually at the signing of the statute of limitations, extending it on June 26th. I actually told the governor that I would really appreciate getting um, the pen that was signed in, in signing for the bill, and I did receive this pen. But it was quite an honor to be there. It's extending the time frame, and that's what I want your audience to know that as a survivor, you have that extended time to go forward. You now have in the civil statute of limitations, you have until the age of 53. You don't have until the prior law, which was 21. For a criminal case, you now have until the age of 43. You don't have until the age of 31 to go forward. And that particular law passed in September 2006. So if you didn't get the help before because you were told that it's too late, please reach out to an attorney and, and go forward now with your case. You go into classrooms. You regularly, you're at Dunbar Community Center, you're at the YMCA here in Springfield. You're a proponent, a speaker representative of child help, their speak up to be safe curriculum. What is it you most want to get across to those young people when you're in front of them in those classrooms? I want them to speak up to be safe. Using child help curriculum, it's a curriculum that was founded by two women, um, Child Help, which was founded in 1959. It educates our kids first grade to sixth grade. Come January, it's going to educate pre-K to 12th grade. It's teaching them the curriculum and their language to go forward to be safe. And I believe at $5 a child, two 30 to 60 minute sessions, it's a no brainer to get this curriculum in every single school, whether it be in the health class, whether it be after school programs, but get this education out to the kids as soon as possible. When you look at those faces, you must have a sense of one, 
There are probably some people here that really need to be hearing this. Mm -hmm. And there, there's an innocence that's been taken away in many cases. Yeah. And it's sad. You know, it's sad because these kids don't know where to turn to. That's why I want to be the voice for these kids. Let them know that it, you need to tell. The predators are silencing them. You know, let them know it's okay to tell. If you can't tell your counselor, if you can't tell your teacher, if you can't tell someone at home, then come and talk to me. My door is open 24-7. Your dream, and you, you've talked about it here with us before, is to start a safe house right in the area. It'll be called Kathy's House, mm -hmm. a place for those being abused to escape from their predator, their abuser. Not easy to do that. How's that coming? It's coming along. It's moving in the, in the right direction. In Kathy's house, I would like to see counseling for children, for adults. I would like to see um, a therapy dog in there to have all the resources, DVDs. My room at home looks like a library. I want to bring this material into Kathy's house so that people can come in and get the information they need to disclose, to start the healing process like I have done, to have the information there where when they're ready, the survivors are ready to go forward to get justice, they know who to contact, reaching out to justice for survivors, to get investigators to investigate their case, to get an attorney, letting them know where to start and the resources that they need in Kathy's house to be safe and go forward. Well, Kathy Picard, 2014 Pension Award winner, we're proud of you. We're happy for you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much.